All right, y'all, Mark here again with another uh, semen retention lifestyle video. So real quick, uh, two things I want to say real quick. First of all, uh, when you're on SR lifestyle, some of the uh, ridicules or some of the uh, mockery that you'll get is that, oh, he's bitter, he's been heartbroken, he's been damaged. Some woman, you know, broke him up, destroyed him, damaged him, and now he's uh, he's scared. So he's, he's, he's retreated into this lifestyle. Rather than debate that, folks, what you need to do is quickly agree with it. <laughs> like, that is 100% factual. Uh, 100%. Uh, there's not a human being that walks this planet that does not have an experience that changes him. That's pretty much what they're saying. So if they're trying to ridicule you, because I've heard that, you know, uh, oh, he's, or, you know, he's, He's adopting his lifestyle because, you know, whatever, whatever. He's given up on relationships. He's given up on people. The bottom line is it's a fact. It's every, everything you, they, they're going to say. Be prepared for it and embrace it. Because there, what those of you who have chosen this lifestyle who are practicing, there's a series of, series, there's a series of events that has occurred that led you to make the decision. It might be unnoticed by you, right? Meaning you might not be consciously aware of it. But there's a series of events that has transpired that has led you to the point where you're like, okay, you know what? I want to go on this lifestyle. Whatever those events are, it doesn't matter. Good, bad, and different, who cares? Something transpires that leads you to make your decision. So when people say that about me, I embrace it and I tell them, you're absolutely right. Uh, I've been through hell with relationships, terrible, terrible relationships. And I realized the common denominator in all my relationships was me. So therefore, it wasn't the, the other women. It was always me. I'm the only, you know, if I dated 10 women or 20, 30, whatever, and all of them had similar outcomes, the common denominator is me. So I realized that it was me. And it's not a good, bad, or indifferent thing. It's not good, bad. It's not, it's, it's not about that. It's about finding out why am I attracting this? Why am I manufacturing this? Why am I manifesting this? Why am I producing and replicating and copying this? Right? Why am I simulating this? Right? Uh, so that led me to say, okay, I'm going to go into this uh, into this lifestyle and do some, you know, some 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 shadow work. Call Young, check out that book. Really good stuff. Psychology, psychologist. So yeah, I don't. I, so that's one. I don't. I don't. I don't disagree. Damage, bitter, all that stuff. Yes, 100%. And that's why I chose to do what I do. So let's... Now, next... <laughs> uh, the next thing you're going to hear, fellas, is that semen retention can cause cancer. Yeah, that's, a, that's another one. Because when you, you know, once you start... The, 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 once you, you go on a lifestyle, once you, you decide to make some changes, once you decide to do something noble and, and positive, everything's going to come at you to deter you, to distract you, or to, to discourage you. So something that I've heard and I've read it online as well, semen retention causes cancer. Sometimes I'm in the office with, a, you know, you're with a couple of guys, associates, whatever. And you have a locker room talk. That's what men do. And sometimes it comes up and I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, the semen retention. And, you you know, so I've heard guys say, oh, I heard it caused prostate cancer. I heard it caused this in your prostate. And you can back, you know, back up your, your, because it's not released. It can cause all kind of, you know, issues in your lower pelvic back bottom. I've heard it all. And I've actually read some stuff online that, that kind of supports that, right? Who wrote that? I don't know, right? The guy who wrote it probably likes to jerk off. So he said, hey, I'm going to write an article to discourage other men from, <laughs> so they could be like me and jerk off, right? So I don't really trust everything I read online. Uh, there's, I've seen some medical things that kind of support it as well. But again, like I said, I, I remember I took a few semesters in college and, and I think it was a health class or whatever class it was. Had to do the professor was saying it's all right to masturbate. So I mean, there's all kind of crazy floating opinions out there. So it's up to you. You got to use your discernment. But here's what I want to say to that: for those who say semen retention causes cancer, this mess up your prostate, whatever the case may be. Here's what I want to say to that: I want to be as you know. Uh, I respect the people who smoke cigarettes. I respect the cigarette smoker. I respect the chain smoking cigarette people, not just those who smoke cigarettes, but the chain smokers. I respect those who are. Uh, uh, drinkers. I respect the guy who's at the bar every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday night, and he is chugging back suds. He is chugging back suds. I respect the guy who goes into the doctor's office and the doctor says, hey, listen, if you don't stop smoking, you're going to develop lung cancer. You got throat cancer, strep throat, whatever. You're going to get some kind of cancer. And he walks out of his doctor's office and immediately he lights up a cigarette and just starts smoking away. I respect him. The guy who doctor says, hey, listen, your kidneys... They're on their last leg. And if you don't, you know, walk by that bar 
you're out of here. And he immediately leaves his doctor's office and he goes to the bar and he just starts kicking back suds. I'm talking about rum, whiskey, Jack Daniels. He's just drinking. I respect him. I don't respect what he's doing to himself, but I respect his commitment. I respect his loyalty. I respect his devotion. I respect that guy who says, I don't care if I'm going to get cancer smoking cigarettes. I'm going to keep lighting up my Marlboro. I'm going to keep lighting up my Newports. You know, I'm going to chain smoke, drink, drink till I can't drink, get drunk till I can't get drunk no more. I respect their commitment. Why? Because I want to be just as committed to my semen retention lifestyle as that cigarette smoking, rum, Red Bull, drinking, Hennessy chugging, you know, uh, whiskey, Pete sipping, uh, getting drunk, suds soaking. I want to be just as committed. So to those who say semen retention causes cancer, I'm going to say Keep on keeping on with my semen retention while it causes me cancer. As much as the cigarette smoker is saying, I'm going to keep smoking my cigarettes as much as it causes me cancer. I'm going to keep drinking my liquor as much as it's destroying my love, my kidneys, my, my gland, all of my glands in my body. I respect, I want to be just as committed. And I'm going to be just as committed. Till next time. Peace.